we go. Alright guys, so I got a couple new things mounted to my snowmobile. So I got my boat graph mounted on there and my auger mount, which is awesome. Um, now I'm going to go meet up with an old friend out on the lake. Um, today we're going to Mille Lacs Lake. We're going to go after some walleye and I'm going to be spending 24 hours on the ice. So <sighs> it's a little later than I want it to be, but I guess at least we don't have to set up in the dark so far. I'm going to really kick myself for saying that later, aren't I? Never mind, not stuck. It's close though. Well, I made it to my destination, but now we gotta set up our tent. Yeah, we've been out here for like six hours. It's freezing. Let's get that thing set up. You guys don't know who that is? This is Marie. Um, Marie and I go way back. We haven't seen each other in like six months. Dude, it's been like nine months. Nine months? It's, it's been, been a long time. It's been a long time. I think it was we were ice fishing last season. Yeah, it's the last time we've even seen each other. So Marie actually has a YouTube channel too. I'll link it down in the description below. And then also joining us is my friend Nick. I'm here. Nick from Marshall Outdoors. Dude, we haven't seen each other since like... Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. How many of you guys got today? I don't know, I think I've got... Yeah, I think... 15. This is my dinner, ladies and gentlemen, and it's hanging on for dear life. Look at that, easy as peasy. So the crazy thing about this fish house, or this tent, is that uh, it actually has a floor, so we're gonna have like insulation over the ice, so we're gonna be able to keep our feet warm. All right, guys. Well, it's not really an ideal time that I showed up, but we we're out here. It's uh, it's pitch black outside right now. Probably about 6:30 at night. Um, this is our setup we got. We got Murray over here. Here's his bed. There's Nick's bed, and then there's mine. We don't have every we don't have everything set up right now. Like our sleeping bags are kind of everywhere. We just threw everything in here, and we're gonna set it all up later. Nick's actually got some. Uh, we got the kitchen rolling right now. Some duck poppers, you call them? Mm -hmm. What is that? Duck wrapped in bacon? We got a chunk of duck, chunk of cream cheese, jalapeno, wrap it in bacon, dip that in some barbecue sauce, throw it on the grill. Gonna load this on with cream cheese. Show the camera we we don't care about heart attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. All right, so what we're doing now is we're just setting up this house. We might drill one hole in here, but Nick's gonna Nick's gonna chef it up in here. I might film if he'll let me. I'm gonna chef it in here. <laughs> Come along, go up. So where does this thing attach to now? Oh, here oh. you go. You going? Yeah. Sweet. It's kind of nice to not have to. I didn't. I didn't have to think about food today, ladies and gentlemen. Nick. Nick did all this himself. He's like, I'm. I'm making duck bites. 
Something I like to do on the ice, man. That'd be freaking sick. This is. So, what's the objective here? We're just filling a bowl full of barbecue sauce? Yep. Stopper just went right off. <laughs> <laughs> just want to film one. Mm. Just gotta pick on all these dumb ones. Get them. Get them. Oh. You need to get down. We're gonna go ahead and give these things a shot right now. Nick's giving me the okay. Um, you wanna do the honors, Nick? No, it's all you, man. Are you sure? Yeah, watch out, it's gonna be a little hot. Might be a little hot. All right, we're just gonna go for it. Those things are so good. Yeah, they're pretty dope. Wow, it's like a jalapeno popper, but way better. All right, Murda. Murda came Taste and visited test. us. A little taste test. Let's yeah, see how it you is. gotta eat one. Huh? Is it good? So good. <laughs> <laughs> I Nick, can die now. Nick hates us because he hasn't even eaten one yet. I oh, can I die now. Eight ball three. Ready? <laughs> Let me tell you. They're dynamite. I I don't know what's better. Like, there's so much cream cheese and jalapeno in there. Doing it. Alright. Oh wow, hello. About to drop the camera. So that, that's a hard part about being in here is that there's not really yeah. anywhere safe to set the camera. Hello, hi. It's been about two hours since we migrated back in here with the duck poppers, and we weren't able to finish them all. Um, we also weren't able to catch any fish, so we're kind of just hanging out. I got my bed set up, got my sleeping pad on it, and a sleeping bag. Um, I didn't bring a pillow. I'm just gonna use my jacket, but uh, I think it's fifth, like 15 degrees out, 10 degrees out. You guys are just outside. It's it's not bad, but that wind just makes it terrible. The wind's bad. Yeah. So we're probably we got like 15 mile an hour winds right now, so that's not great. We're just glad it's not tomorrow because tomorrow it's supposed to get down to negative nine. So and that's Fahrenheit, by the way. So that would be like what negative 30 something Celsius. Something like yeah. Something like that. It's like negative 33 Celsius. So. It's gonna be cold tomorrow. Right now it's like negative five Celsius, so it's still not warm. But um, if you guys are gonna do this, definitely bring a fan to push the heat down from the top of the tent because all the hot air's up there and lower is colder. So the boys just set up some tip ups outside. Hopefully we'll catch some fish, but it's not looking promising tonight. He freaking dropped it. No way. First official whack of the night and he dropped it. I just got a dead stick down. He popped it so hard. Oh, am I marking no way. it? Now? That'd be sick. I think I'm marking. So this is a fish finder for ice fishing. This is a Vexlar branded one. For those of you that wonder what the heck's going on right now, um, fear not. Right here, my minnow, and then these are two weights that I got on it. Um, we're in 28 feet of water. So this is zoomed in, and then this is just not. So this could be a fish right here flickering in and out. Yeah. Glad we put a couple lines up on the flats. Oh, what do we got? Wow. <laughs> I don't think we got anything. Really? No way. Wait. Yelp. We got something. Finally put some, we put some lines up on the flat. We got a decent moon out tonight, clear night. So I'm guessing these fish are in 25 feet. I think I got my knot. There we go. Yep, has a knot hooked on that. But let's see what we got here. Guess it's gonna be a good fish if he's up here uh, feeding in the middle of the night. It's not bad. It's a decent fish. We'll take that. This is the first fish that we have seen in, I'd say, f four hours, boys. Maybe. It's been a while, it's, dude. It's been probably four hours, and I am definitely happy to see this fish. Got that beauty unhooked. Not a bad fish. I'm, I'm hoping this is a sign of something. Hopefully we can put a couple more tip ups out in the shallow stuff. Get some more beauties like that. See you later, buddy. See you Heck later, yeah, buddy. Yeah, dude, that was sick. Sweet. Nice. First one. That's sweet though, catching fish with bed. That's gnarly. 
That is sweet, just on that little jig head. All right, guys, just gonna get this guy unhooked real quick. Where's my pliers? That is sweet. We're definitely, or I was definitely starting to get a little bit discouraged just because it's been so slow, but I don't know. It seems like we're definitely starting to mark a little bit more fish and this one came right up and popped it. That's a big bait, dude. Yeah, that is a big old sucker minnow on there. And look at that. Just a beautiful little walleye. All right, let's get a graceful release on this guy. Bye, Felicia. Damn, yeah, yeah, that was lit. Oh, wow. We're about to jump into bed here. Um, one more thing I wanna say before we go to bed. If you guys are planning on doing something like this, one, don't take anything that we did in this video as like factual or like what you should be doing. Um, this is my first time doing this. Murray's done it a couple times this year, but we're by no means like taking all the precautions. Um, I did I did bring a carbon monoxide detector. Tough night of fishing, good food, good friends, and I guess we'll see you in the morning. I guess this is good night. All right, well, it's about nine, well, it's close to nine right now. It's about 8.45 in the morning. Uh, we went to bed last night, or I went to bed at around midnight, and woke up at around 3.30 to a very cold house. Um, we ran out of propane last night, so we had to switch over to another tank. Um, long story short, I used my other tank, and I think my hose or my heater is bad, so my regulator was either letting propane out or my heater was letting propane out. I don't know what was going on, but it was sketchy. So we switched the hose back over to the other tank and oh it was a whole ordeal. Instant. But there's a lot of fish down there right now and we need to start catching. Oh my gosh, dude. Two of them flew up. The time I even made 10 feet down there. <laughs> really? Just... No way! Dude, they're crushing! I didn't even make it 10 feet down there, dude, and they are already coming at. They're fired up right now. The morning bite's gonna be hot here out here on Mille Lacs Lake. Make sure you stay the night. Fish early, boys, cause... <laughs> I completely forgot my snow helmet was out here. My snowmail helmet, and it's full of snow. We've got about 20 mile an hour winds right now. We're taking down a pop-up. It was a fishless day slash night for me. Um, kind of a bummer, but... It's good to see these boys again. I haven't seen them for about nine months now. And uh, it was good to catch up and spend it in a cold night in the shack. <laughs> That's the hardest part about taking down these portables in the wind like this is these tent ones like to blow away, but they got it done. Well, Mer, it was good seeing you, dude. Hey, buddy. I missed you. Yeah, we'll have to nice, fish again. Nice meeting you guys. <laughs> Bye. See you later, Nick. Hey, thanks for the freaking, thanks for the food last night. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Cooking up in the shack, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Yeah, you should probably come back more often. If you guys like ice fishing videos, let me know in the comment section below. If you like videos like this, let me know. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. But until next time, I guess all that's left to say is my name is Maverick and keep on trucking. I'm enjoying it. <laughs>